Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you last day of the week here. What do we got? Friday the 19th of October. Do you ever have one of those days where you walk in and you're like, huh, I'll be short Yorian today, I'll be long dollars R, I'll be long dollar Swiss, and I'll be casually short equities. And at the end of the day, you're like, oh, wow. Euro yen got crushed, equities crushed, dollars are through the roof, and dollar Swiss is also higher, but my PL is red. Those are the worst days in foreign exchange. We had one of those yesterday. Very, very annoying. But, of course, that was yesterday. Now we're done thinking about that. Just sharing uh, with the troops here. Today is a new day. Let's have a look. The intrepid and slippery dollar Swiss. Yesterday we saw a uh, large buyer of dollar Swiss after the 74 highs. We saw 250 bucks just sitting there on EBS at 50 uh, on the bid. What does this mean? Uh, it doesn't mean too, too much, but it does give you sort of a directional flavor as to uh, what the big money is trying to accomplish. If you look at the one minute chart, you'll see, um, you know, we had this bid at 50, and then once it got filled, everyone who's leaning against it uh, kind of stopped out, um, and then uh, we've drifted higher now, we're at 60. So, we do think dollar Swiss, as we said yesterday, is going to trade parity today, so it's not super clear the best way to, uh, to slay this beast. Looks like its accumulation is going to be the best, uh, best effort here, so maybe nibble on some dollars here um, and keep yourself open what we didn't do yesterday, our position sizing was a little bit too big, up at 45. We ended up puking down at 28. Give yourself some room to buy uh, on any slutty moves left or right, and be a bit more nimble. Uh, as those of you know who have been listening to me over the years, I suck at trading dollar Swiss, so um, just keep that in mind. This does look directionally correct. Dollar Swiss higher. Let's have a look at Dollar Rand. Tick tock, tick tock, heading for the budget. Uh, big up day yesterday. This is uh, now buy on dip. Uh, let's take a look at the 30 year yield, which is. 318, so that hasn't done too, too much. Anyway, heading into the budget, Czar is going to get, uh, I think is going to be a little bit uh, penalized here. Obviously, risk off is not good for emerging markets. Uh, TRY, ZAR, uh, dollar max is up at 1913. This guy's a buy on dip. Uh, another slippery fella. We've had a lot more success in dollar czar than dollar Swiss. Um, let's try and nibble on some, maybe uh, in the high 30s, and try and keep that core long in uh, dollar czar. We got some news out in dollar CAD today, and then we have this interesting chart, sort of reverse head and shoulders here, pretty obvious one. We just nipped through it. Um, yesterday. You could argue that the uh, neckline was 84, the high was 86. I believe we have uh, CPI today out of Canada. And so this could be a, no, uh, a numbers driven trade. CPI is weak. Smash the CAD. Yeah, wow, CPI and retail sales out of CAD. That looks like that's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, it's not a bad little situation. You got about, you know, a target of about 200 points higher. 
keep an eye on this level 13086 if it goes in Europe keep it tight be disciplined but if it goes over the numbers just do your best with the liquidity try and get some long dollar cads on if it's a low CPI and then run like the wind cable eventually got smashed down through 74 76 to low the first time um, now we're just kind of sitting here on our knees sterling yen got smashed I don't know what to do with cable. Um, traded pretty normally yesterday. Maybe the Brexit news is behind us, but I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't buy cable down here. Looks pretty bad. But uh, it was driven by sterling yen. You can see here, big, big red throbber. Uh, quickly to dollar yen, kind of a, uh, almost a bearish engulfing there. We kind of did what we wanted it to do yesterday. We talked about kind of fading dollar yen between 1580, 74. It's the high. Um, bounced up a little bit here. Tricky, tricky dollar yen. With the dollar bid elsewhere, um, with stocks offered. What do you do? I'm going to stick to my guns and say selling high ones in dollar yen is, is, is not a bad idea, especially if equities are below 2800 So, there we are. I'm going to shut my gob here uh, on this Friday morning. Take a deep breath. Dollar Swiss again is our horse. We will be trying to get core long dollar czar. And... We will be flexible today. Same thing in stocks. We want to be core short. <laughs> we act quickly before I go BTPs. Yeah, we had a 50 offer yesterday. 120, 50, I believe 44 was the high. It was that kind of day. 43 was the high. Anyway, BTPs totally smushed. This shit is going through the year's lows of 118.27 today uh, Italy is being penalized for being Italy so this is set to continue and should continue sort of the downdraft in Euro Yen and also Euro Dollar alright now I'm finished good luck out there people I will uh, file some ideas onto Twitter as they arrive, as will my, uh, my partners in Paris, occasionally in Dublin and Chicago. I will see you guys on Monday.